Greetings, Heather Lane Casera here. I am the Clark County Poet Laureate, and I am thrilled to be here today with Emily Wershing. She's a phenomenal poet, a dedicated librarian, an incredible literary steward. She gives back so much to our community. For example, Emily co-leads with me the Nuts and Bolts Poetry Workshop, which takes place every second Thursday of the month at the Green Valley Library. Whether you're a beginner poet or you're a seasoned poet, it's a wonderful opportunity to bring a poem, um, read it and have us workshop it, provide some feedback in a safe, encouraging environment. Emily also hosts the Green Valley Library Open Mic. Mm -hmm. Emily, could you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. So second Thursday is the workshop, third Thursday is the open mic. So hopefully that's easy to remember. Everyone's invited, even if you feel like you're not a seasoned poet, everyone has something to share, even if you're reading someone else's work. It's a great time to practice some poems or to just get out there and get some confidence built up. And we absolutely always clap. So don't worry about what you say. <laughs> So today I'm really excited because Emily is gonna read a poem for us. This poem was first published by 300 Days of Sun. <laughs> Thank you, Emily, <laughs> awesome. Which is the Nevada State College Literary Journal. I had the absolute honor of serving as the faculty advisor for this issue. Uh, it's also, this poem is also forthcoming in Emily's chapbook, oh American <laughs> Dream Houses, which is going to be amazing. And it's coming out in early 2020. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Emily. I'm so excited Thank for you. you. <laughs> so could you tell us just a little bit about your poem, either the inspiration or the revision process or um, how it relates to where we are today right now? Yes. So my poem is called Wash Boy. Uh, it's set in this particular wash. Um, there was a tragic loss that our community suffered and this was how I coped with it, but it's really a poem about a different loss and I found that poetry was my best way to borrow someone else's story to tell my own. Um, and so this poem may strike a chord with some local readers and listeners because it is inspired by true things. Awesome. <laughs> thank you so much, Emily. Thank you, thank you for sharing this with us. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll let you read your poem and, and thank you again. Awesome. <laughs> in the book. <laughs> this is called Wash Boy. In another life, I was a pedigree swimmer, a backstroke champion, a slippery gill. In the late light hours, I walked high rise, peat side of a thorny ledge, washed over what summer monsoon saw fit to drench the soil. I was forbidden in another life to wade the depths of my own athletia, now, with certainty, we stood at the edge of our knowing, daring to dive. All four of us, toe deep and dreaming of a bad land, drowned in sky sweat, we, young and restless, sought the marrow of our fears in black rock waters, the kind that travel 10,000 miles before wandering wide. I knew the danger. I knew the dark swirl sun of a bitter sea god was not to be trifled was the kindred spirit of millennia spilling on soil parched for generations. Black water, gray night, we spared ourselves of socks to touch the gurgling surface. I knew the danger. Four boys, pedigree waders in our desert suburbia were kin to swimming pools, were courageous puddle jumpers, were shoeless fiends. Our gray night, black water, our rivers, through deserts, I was the first to reach my body through the water to catch my limbs on floating debris. I was the river end of lifetimes, a quiet mouth in the thunder rush of weeds. When the summer makes seascapes of aloe and the shallow root bulbs of cacti are yanked away, I was not swimming. Rather, the river was a sweltering summer storm. I watched my body bob about the chicken wire fences, the redundant plastic bottles, the cast off rubber shoes. I was not swimming. I was the silt of an evening rain wake, the violent passage of my soul. The underbrush was hush with hope, but I was not the champion of drain waves. No Poseidon sun, no God. I was not swimming through the pipeline where my shoeless feet wore sod. I was the river, a temporary feast for red dust, panhandled, drenched, and downed, where the water was relentless, where my bare-boned body drowned. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for reading that moving poem thank for Thank you us. for letting me share. <laughs> yeah, thank you for being here, Emily. Mm -hmm. And thank you for joining us for Poetry. Uh, we would love to see you at the um, second Thursday, Nuts and Bolts 
poetry workshops at the Green Valley Library. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then um, also at the third Thursday, Green Valley Library open mic, where you will be hosted by the amazing Emily Wershing. Thanks. So thank you so much. <laughs> there is poetry happening really, truly, pretty much every day here in our, um, <laughs> in our Clark County. So we hope to see you soon for poetry. Thank you.